Hey folks, Phil Gallagher of Thraben, you here for another Monster Train. Whatever we're calling these. Let's Plays? Dailies? I forget what I titled them. Alright, uh, so we're fresh off a win. We're now up to Covenant rank 18, so our merchant costs are now a tiny, tiny bit higher. Let's see what we get randomized today. Let's also, like, confirm which plans we are rather than just assuming. Alright, I can scroll over to this stuff. Okay, so we're facing Seraph the Temperament, which saps the strength of our unit. Oh great, it's unnamed Tome. Which... Like, I have a very low opinion of silence in this game, so, like, maybe it'll do some cool things this run and change my mind. Prismal Dust is very good at protecting big beefy units, and Titan's Gratitude is a fine enabler for things like, uh, Titan's Tooth. Uh, so we are Stygian Umbra. So, kind of the, uh, flip-flop of last time around. Ooh! This is a bit of a rare time where I almost wish I had taken my champion first. My approach on floor one is take the artifact first because, like, that gives you more information in, like, figuring out, like, what synergies you can have with your champion. Um, uh, but this might be a time where I might have wished to have the champion first. Um, I think I'm gonna take the random spell weakness here. And then, the question is, like, which at this am I going to get? So, do I want sweep plus lots of stacks of spell weakness on enemies? Or do I want frostbite? I think frostbite, generally speaking, is more valuable than spell weakness. Both are incredibly valuable, and stacking a few hits of either of these uh, likely leads to the death of a boss. Uh, they do so in very different ways, though. So, Tethys Titan's Bane is better played on a lower floor, because you need to play a spell to kill the boss after you have a bunch of spell weakness stacked on it. Um, but, at this Titan Bane, if you're making a stand at the top floor, that Frost Bane, or sorry, Frost Bite, still does a lot of work. So overall, the question is, do I need the sweep or not? The Umbra have a decent number of units that I can hide either one of these behind, um, as do the Stygium. I already have a source of at least some spell weakness. I'm going to go with the Frostbite here. Um, I don't think that decision was clear-cut. And, like, the Frostbite one will be better against Sweep units, for example. Or, sorry, I guess Spike units. Uh, Armor 10 is fine. Okay, so these do have spell weakness. I don't think I want to play you out on floor one. I really want to have Train Steward in front of you. I think that's true even if I apply Triple Shield to you this turn, although like that's certainly interesting. Alright, Triple Shield to you, hit you. Yeah, I'd rather put you on a higher floor. Maybe even floor 3 for this flight. fight, and hope that we can do some damage to like these shields and stuff via other units first. Like, Titan's Gratitude will one-shot this. Yeah, I think we're gonna go floor 3 with this. And it's the question of, do I want a morsel in like, do I want to feed you a morsel? I don't think that's necessary. I'm gonna take my opportunity to just triple damage shield this. And we'll see how this turn goes. Nice. Alright, so Titan's Gratitude kills you. And unfortunately, a train steward attack does not kill you. How am I playing off the turn? Is it three more damage shield? I don't think it's three more damage shield. 
Uh, but, like, the armor is definitely doing real work in this fight. I think I 100% want to do this. Frozen Lances, not feeling great. Fate Splitter, similarly not exactly fantastic either, though. Alright. Titan Gratitude kills you. Let's try not to discard Frozen Lance, I guess. I can Frozen Lance you and kill you. Ah, yes. Silence to enemy units. Uh, very powerful card. Just probably another Train Steward in front here to soak up some damage. Train Steward would die immediately if I played it, so I'll just do some chip damage here. Alright, uh... Ooh, this has... no weakness. Hey, you know what? Why don't we silence everything? Oh, it's so good. Look, we put something over their face. Okay, uh, Titan's Gratitude is gonna be a 50 here, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, you all are getting up to the boss, that's okay. I can play you out on floor 2 and maybe you live and do something. Let's feed you. You look hungry. Alright. Single stack of spell weakness there. Uh, did a considerable amount of work for us. Um, you having more food is probably relevant. Rather than using this as a shield, uh, let's see what these are. Life would be acceptable. Oh, life. So then these as damage shields mean that I get 5 damage on the boss. That's fine. Okay, we're dealing 77 as of right now. Uh, which is like totally fine and good. 25 added to that means we have a kill. And do a couple of things first. Let's make the kill cleaner. Alright. Champion definitely did some work there. Okay. I have almost no targeted damage, correct? Or no targeted damage? I'm hitting the front units. Uh, so some targeted damage is great. Do I need energy for Perils of Production slash Shade Splitter? Uh, energy is definitely okay right now, but I don't know that this is going to be good in the long term. Um, I think I'm just going to take the gold here. Alright, we wanted a tank, and that totem does not really count. Um, we didn't get a tank. I'm gonna take the Icy Silo fight. It at least has sweep and will be pretty good with an upgrade. Um, but like, a tank is what we need. So large stone on Icy Silo fight is like, totally reasonable. We can also maybe get like, a, like, dark wolf thingy. No, just more things that usually hide behind other creatures. Okay. I'm now going to have three different things which hide behind other creatures. Uh, not really where I want to be long term. Large stone? Not large stone. Um, I can make one of these tankier. Not like super the direction I want to go. But like, maybe it's what's happening. Uh, I, I am very displeased with this shop. <laughs> I can turn Icy Silophyte into a tank by double upgrading it, but then, like, it's really not good at killing things on its own. Uh, this is hard. I can just take the reroll and try to buy a lot of things after the reroll, uh, but, like, Damage Shield 2 is going to be way better than just, like, 25 health if I get that on a reroll. Um, yikes. Uh, let's reroll and hope to high roll. Fudge. Large stone is fantastic. 
Uh, overall, this is way better than what we had access to previously. So, uh, the, this is more valuable for us, so we're going to work on protecting this unit more, which means it's probably the one that should get the attack damage upgrade. And then, do we want to damage shield 2? Because uh, damage shield 2 is very good in the short term, but very poor in the long run. I'm going to go with purging a card. Probably a Shade Splitter here. Um, although it's possible that, like, Unnamed Tone or Train Steward is just worse. I might need to use Shade Splitters as damage shields uh, for some of my back units in the short term. In which case, they're better than Train Stewards at doing that. Um, I'm definitely a little spooked in terms of this run's long-term success at this point. Yeah, so like I don't think I can take this trial with the Spikes 3. Like It just kills Tethys in one go. Cold Kylia is probably dead after two or three attacks, as is my other Sweeper. Um, I think we take very considerable fire damage if we take this trial. That probably will results in either the immediate or the eventual loss of the run because of this fight. Okay. You know how we didn't take the spikes? We found more spikes. Uh, I don't think I want to pick a fight on this floor. I think I'm more likely to want to do this and try to set up or later. Put Tethys on the top floor. Uh, because we, like, we have nothing to tank for it right now. And then... Alright, oh, the spell weakness. Uh, so let's try to high roll and not discard Frozen Lens. Oh, we did not high roll. Do I want to just apply this as one damage shield? Not really. Not really. But maybe that's what's happening. We have some sweep and frostbite available to us. We get to kill everything here. Um, the spikes damage is definitely real. I don't have targeted removal. Um, again, like silence card doing serious work. Ugh. Ugh. It's two damage. One damage. Actually, it's just using a shape splitter and like trying to feed you better. Maybe that's better. At least this is a short fight. That's that's what we currently have going for us. Life feels okay. And you're dead. Alright, I am getting at least one sweep attack in. That's very important. So, how can I change the math on this floor, slash do I need to change the math on this floor? I can flash freeze you, and that takes away the spikes from you specifically. So, as of right now, I get attacked. I take a little bit of damage from spikes, and then I'm killed on the second attack. But if I kill you and put a couple... Yeah, alright, so the play is kill you and then put some fields in front here. So that's going to stack up a little bit more frostbite on the boss. Uh, order... Yeah, I don't... Okay, hold on. So six, then kill, versus six, then six, then kill versus 
we want to do it like this. Sweet! Did not do map or sweep. Um, definite error on my part. Oh no, sweep is very good against me. Okay, it's fine. Technically, it's fine, uh, but it sure doesn't feel fine. Um, and that boss hits and kills Tethys, and then my fire takes infinite damage. Um, oh no, did I did I lose this fight already? Like, did I lose this run? No, I did not lose the run, but it was bad. Okay, so I messed up in that fight. I forgot about the boss's sweep. So because the boss had sweep, instead of getting rid of the spikes and carrying about floor one, I needed to start stacking the frostbite on the boss early, so that in the middle floors, I got like another 30-ish damage, which like maybe saves me 6 to 12 fire health. Alright, uh... We don't have any offering cards yet. So, Crypt Builder has energy with the two Titans Gratitude that I have, and with some of the stacking up of status effects that I'm doing. Uh, specifically Spell Weakness. Uh, but the deck's still very large, and I don't feel good about the deck. I, I, like, I feel like I probably die on either Daedalus or Fell at this point. If I even make it that far. This gives me some high roll opportunities to, like, get a couple of stacks of Spell Weakness and steal a kill. I'm going to take Pack Morsels, and currently I'm viewing Pack Morsels as this is three blockers. I need a tank. Need, 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 need. Like, right now. I think I'm gonna go right, and like, maybe try to get the encamped armor unit. Um, while I do have spells that would be fine to upgrade, I'm pretty poor right now. And an artifact high rolling could be very good here. Um, I currently don't move units, uh, so we're going to take the bonus energy on the first turn. Thank you. Thanks. I've been very impressed with Titan Sentry. Uh, very good first four creature. I will need to upgrade it as well. Oh no. So normally this is an event where like I use my pyre health very aggressively, but like we're in danger of losing the run. I need to upgrade my tank next floor. Uh, so I'm currently on floor three. So on floor four, I can get a merchant of steel by going right. I'll also get pyre remains to heal. So it's the one that looks, it's the Daedalus that looks like a person. So was that explosive shields? I need to just download this picture to my desktop. I will remember to do that after this run. Daedalus. The one that... Yeah, okay, the one that looks like the person is plating seal means that the bombs are going to enter with damage shield. Uh, which means a lot of my units are going to die as of right now. Are we high rolling? Kind of feels like we're high rolling here. And I hope to get this after two or three. Yes. Yes, thank you. Uh, 50, 50 gold for that artifact is totally reasonable. That's the difference between our pyre killing something in one versus two shots, uh, which is super relevant right now. Alright. 
Can we do this fight? How do I need to set up to have success in this fight? Um, hold up, is this a triggered ability? That is a triggered ability. Okay, silence is like actually going to do something. At some point, I get to use this unnamed tome to stop a bomb from exploding. Which also means that I would need to kill that bomb in this pose, otherwise it would be around for next turn. Icy Silophyte needs to be played out on one or two for its ability to really do anything. I now have, like, so much energy and very little to do with it. I think this turn is going to be Icy Silophyte and use these Shade Splitters as blockers. Silence the bomb. And now Tethys. Where are you going? I need to play you behind Titan Sentry. I hope. And like floor two is taking no, it's taking two next turn, so if I miss out, it's not the end of the world. Okay, we did. Fantastic, that's a very good hit. But now I have something to tank, and something else very valuable to put behind it. And now we're largely using the first floor as, like, these morsels jump in the way of creatures until I can hold things a little bit better. I can play this turn in a way that guarantees me that I can Titan's Grasp into Offering, which can kill this creature. I can also do that, use that to deal considerable damage on floor one. Um, these are quite good mortals. The damage shield is great. good with 13 damage here? I think so. Let's go this. This is better eaten. Um, honestly, all of these are better eaten. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to eat these. Now we will play a good old train steward up on floor one here. And feed it something. A damage shield two on you. I guess that's relevant for frostbite. And then let's do some work on this floor, kill one of those creatures. Um, I'm of the opinion that the fight is going okay, but not great. Don't want to cast spells on that floor. Uh, Lifesteal 1. Lifesteal 1 is quite good if I can keep... What happens if Train Steward goes in front of you? Train Steward takes two, then five, then boom, and Train Steward soaks up all of that, so that life steal becomes relevant here. Okay. Okay. But I can't play a Frozen Lance on this floor, or it does bad things. Alright, um... So the question is, what am I doing with this Prismal Dust? Because, like, this is probably the big turn for it. You are only doing two damage. Uh, however, you are also not dying. And I change that. So this is 25. This would kill this front unit. And then I have 26 damage coming in. Plus... 3 plus another 13. That will get a kill. Okay, yeah. So I'm good with that. Let's play this. Try not to discard Prismal Dust. Classic. Why do I even call them? Um, that can go there. And then where is this train steward going? I think it's jumping in front of this damage. Because it eats both of those plus one other attack on the following turn. Alright, so boss has a 
lot of extra spell damage coming. So if I can Crypt Breaker later, um, it's pretty gross. I'm also going to get a decent number of spell damage stacks from this, though. How do I want to play this turn? Um, Prismal Dust on you is pretty good. I think this is worth it even if it clears some stacks. And I think I'm going to take... Oh man, one of these damage shields would just get applied for saving two damage, though. So it saves 11 damage total. That's... That's good with me. Alright, how many stacks do you have on you? You have three stacks of spell weakness. So one Frozen Lance kills you. And then... Actually, you don't do any damage. I don't care about killing you. It's just more valuable to put up damage shields. You're gonna die incidentally due to sweep. Uh, but if I kill you, then this frostbite goes to the boss singer. JK, I know that's very good to do. Yeah. yeah. Drawing three spells and enhancing them, 20 magic power, and That's interesting in that it can help us get Frozen Lances out of the deck, or like exhaust some Shade Splitters that aren't doing a ton of work for us. What am I taking from this boss? I guess I'm taking energy. I don't need space, and I don't have great cards to draw. Uh, uh, Furnace Tap is really great right before a boss. Uh, like Tethys striking twice and giving 20 Frostbite scales super quickly, so this is a great boss killing card. I think I need like get through regular fights card, which that is. Uh, our deck is too weak, I think, to focus on feeding up an Overgorger. I think I need another wall. Get some healing there. Uh, but I am scared. So normally, if I was stronger, this is the point where like I just like snap duplicate one of my good cards, but. I, I think I need to upgrade my tanks, like, basically unquestionably. Damage spells on the floor being cheaper um, is interesting, but uh, this is this is our boss and big unit killer, and I think the chill is too strong to pass up on. Um, let's do this first. These are not the defensive upgrades that I wanted, uh, so we'll be re-rolling this shop. Are we? So, re-rolling the shop plus two upgrades is probably about 110 gold. It means I can buy one of these upgrades in all likelihood safely. Not this one, though. The quick on Cold Kylia is very powerful on floor one. Do I have another Merchant of Steel next floor? I do have another Merchant of Steel next floor, and I would be willing to go that way. Alright. Quick is, like, so valuable on either one of these. Especially here. I think I am risking the run by making this decision, but... I don't think I can afford to reroll the shop right now. Like, my resources are low, and I might not be strong enough to do the next trial. I think this sweep is extremely good, and that giving this increased attack power is great. The issue is that, like, that cost me almost all of my gold. Uh, space is now probably a concern. We're gonna get the train stewards out of here and try to use 
uh, morsels as blockers before we have our, what are our little shark friends called? Before we have the Titan sentries out. All right. So these would go from essentially two to effectively 17 health which puts them out of range of Cult Kylia Sweep, which I think is very problematic. I am not sure that I can take this trial without taking considerable fire damage. Uh, I'm going to pass on the trial. I am really worried that I'm not getting strong enough fast enough here. Cult Kylia takes two spots, correct. Cult Kylia takes two spots. So I can set both of these up on floor one if I'd like. Uh, which I believe I would like. You'd like to know why? It's because I have a billion energy. I can shut you off of incanting or your trigger ability, uh, but that's not profitable. Let's go with 10 damage shields. That was a good use of my uh, bonus turn one energy. Um, I hope I didn't pass any X spells earlier, not realizing how good they were. Doing me dirty, huh? Making me want to play Cold Kylia on two instead of behind this nice BP blocker. Not gonna fall for that trap. This is going here. Yeah. That, uh, probably taking some fire damage. Huh. I can silence those triggered abilities and then get the pyre to kill that? That's how that... I gotta know. I gotta know if that works. That's that's poor science. And now the question is, do I just play another damage shield or do I play a train steward? Train steward like probably dies before getting an attack. Let's go with damage shields. Oh man, it doesn't move? It just like does not have the ability to move between floors. That's cool as hell. Okay. I learned something today. So if you, I do just like the teensiest bit of damage to you, you die. Alright, you're now dead. I guess Icy Silophyte is now going on floor two. And it is uh, going to get Morsel Shields. Uh, so one of these doesn't happen. The attack is probably the least valuable. Now I can play one of these two Titans Gratitudes. And you don't have any camp, right? No, you don't. What is killing you currently? You're getting hit by both of these units. 25, 36, nope. This doesn't change math. I guess. Weep, yeah. Alright, I don't think I really changed anything there. All right, so here's our other Titan Sentry, just in time to jump in front. Bonus energy, and... All right, so you would gain 10 armor, but this deals 12. So technically that ends up putting me ahead, but not by much, but by enough that it matters. I feel like the same would be true this... Not, no, the same would not be true the second time. It was better to just, like, play a morsel up here in case... I end up playing things that matter up there. Alright. So interestingly, I can play gifts for guard this turn and go through part of this deck again, and I can make the Crypt Breaker free. 
for later. Assuming that I make it to a later floor. Um, that's kind of interesting. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. Oh no, that does not shuffle the deck. Uh, in which case, that's even better for me. Because now those free spells get shuffled in to make my future turns stronger. Um, so, what units do I have left? Do I have a train steward? I have a train steward, which takes two spots. It means I can put two morsels up here without changing math. Oh, great. Uh, we're just making it through this fight. Okay, um, I was worried about our power level. Um, maybe we were a touch stronger than I thought. Fighting. Okay, the temperament, so that's going to give us that. Crystalline seeds seem okay. We don't have a ton of AoE. This is weak AoE, and that the creatures are going to get to attack first. Um, this is okay. I don't think great, but okay. This is too slow for our deck. This is acceptable, but also slow. This gives us some late game energy. I don't know that we need. It's a dead draw the first time around. I guess if we're struggling with energy a little bit, that's okay. Eh. The damage shields are quite good on Titan sentries. We have so many mediocre cards. And I'm also not sure that we have enough space where, like, these uncommon or rare morsels are actually just, like, great. So that fight, we had two floors completely filled up, and then kind of a wasted floor. Uh, uh, this might be skipped. Like, this card would not work well with my gifts card. Yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that pick. Uh, so this is this is a very critical moment where the quality of the shop is very important to my success in this run. I need health upgrades. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. So the question is, like, do I split these or do I make a super unit this time? So like, for sure, one of those gets upgraded like that. And then the question is, like, is this one attacking and being even tankier better than both of these being moderately tanky? If I get a duplication event, doubling up on this one is significantly better. Um, I would be totally fine with getting a duplication event. All right. So I can make a unit very small, or make a unit significantly bigger, but take up two space. Let's plan. I thought this takes one spot. I can turn Titan Sentry into an absolute monster and just hide Tethys behind it. And then floor one can be like Titan Sentry and Cult Kylia, and another floor is Icy Silophyte and question mark. Otherwise, I do it on the... Oh no, the size doesn't change. Alright, I'm doing this. I think I go Operation Hyper Titan Sentry. Now I have something that if I duplicate it, it's insanely good. one slightly sub-bar tank. 
Uh, after Fell, we're probably taking space. Bikes. Bikes are so good against me. I I don't. Uh. I don't think I get to take it. Most of my units are sweep units or incredibly fragile units. Uh, I'm passing on too many trials. I think it's correct, but it does not feel good. I can take eight to you here. Where am I putting the big guy? I guess that's the current question. It's a little risky to play Tethys on two if I don't draw the big guy next turn, so I'm gonna play Tethys on three. I have a billion energy, no X spell this time. You're just going on one? If I whip on drawing you, drawing a guard for you, I don't care a ton. Kills these two. Or no, this is 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And playing Shade Splitters as blockers here is not the best. I guess I'm putting Icy Silophite on two. Uh, no, I want Old Kylia and Small Titan Sentry on two. I, I do want you on one, it's just not profitable to play you on one now. Alright, four turn. We're just uh, just taking the loss on that turn and calling it. I guess alternatively, I can play you on two. Uh, all right. So now, do I frozen lance you? Frozen lance kills you, but turns you into a scarier unit by quite a bit. I don't think I've frozen Lance. Alright, we drew the good Titan Sentry. Let's get it off here. We drew the lesser Titan Sentry, which is okay. I think you're gonna go here. And now this is the uh, same problem I think I was talking about in the last run, where like these overcharged tanks are so incredibly good against Umbra. Like, just... We would love to play packed morsels and really like improve this unit a lot, but we had overcharged tanks on two different levels, which made that extremely awkward. So what do? Let's probably get rid of this and give you some more armor. And then the question is like, is it worth giving this unit 30 armor in order to eat three higher quality morsels? You're getting up to the fire and all, like... Oh, uh, no, you're taking 60... Uh, maybe you're not going to make it to the fire. I probably need to eat these. So that I can hold here a little bit longer. It just is super feel bad. Okay, how are we doing? 98. Yeah, okay, so that's one fire hit. I'm good with that. Alright, so things are a little bit later now. Can we play Cold Kylia on one or two here? The sweep is super valuable. Oh my god, that is not the discard pile button. I hope that one gave some laughs. Uh, that probably kills this run. I cannot really see myself recovering from that mistake in this fight. It 
the quick plus sweep and the frostbite was really like very central to my plan. Okay, how are we recovering from this? Oh uh, yeah, I don't know that I am. So I can save a bunch of health on this in return for giving you more armor. That's fine. I need to keep this alive in hopes of it doing something hyper relevant at this at some point in this battle. Okay. Silence everyone on this floor. Oh, this has officially done something. Now let's draw some spells and have them do some things. Alright. We get a lot of damage here. So I need to use that to help clear out this floor. So we can go one of these plus one of these gets a kill. And we can... Titan's Gratitude, deal 25 damage to that, and 65 damage to you, while also playing this, which I would rather eat. There is a world where I discard the Prismal Dust instead, and it's super punishing. There we go. I deserve that. Alright, uh, Frostbite is appreciated. I guess we're playing all of these things. I really hope this isn't like the first video that someone watches of me playing this game. That would be very embarrassing. Okay. So this floor is full. And this is a sweep unit. Uh, which is honestly pretty devastating. We get a little bit of frostbite stacked up, not enough. We get to do this, and then like all three of these other things do nothing. Like we play a morsel and it just gets swept and killed before I get to do anything. Uh, so hopefully our final floor can hold out with this at 65. Uh, okay. We do ha still have spells, right? We do still have spells that do things. All right, let's see if this bails us out. So this is free. Damage shield two goes here. Uh, getting close. Forty-five damage for free. Uh, okay, we might have made it through the fight, but we could have made it through the fight without taking any fire damage if I didn't time walk myself. All right, that uh, was not quite as gloom and doom as I thought it would be. I'm a little pressed for space right now. I don't think I can take the Mollusk Mage. Prism Retrieval is very interesting if I draw it on turn one. On turn one, when I have like that seven bonus energy, uh, this card is disgusting. I'm going to take this. Fire health is to the left. Duplicate is also to the left. Removing cards and upgrading the remaining Titan Sentry is pretty tempting. Also tempting is just duplicating the other Titan Sentry and saying, like, I am going to accept that my deck is going to be bad for the Fell fight, but if I make it through the Fell fight, I really get to pop off. How greedy am I? Alright, so the one that looks like a cracked shield is, I believe, spell shield. Uh, yeah, that's spell shield, so that is definitely good against me.
It would be so much comfortable taking the greedy play at a touch more power health. I think in long for long term success for this run, having a second copy of this sets me up like so well. But do I need to purge some of these bad cards? I haven't done much purging yet, and I'm not taking card draw off of this boss. I don't know that I'm strong enough to take the greedy line that I want to take. And that disappoints me greatly. Uh, both of these are fantastic. I think I need the extra time in that top room. I think I'm gonna take the light's gift here. Large stone! Large stone is fantastic on Titan Sentry. That's similar value, not exactly similar value, but like, that's on par with getting the duplication. <laughs> and I think damage shield is valuable for you. At least you need literally exactly enough gold to upgrade Icy Silophyte. Um, now we can take a couple of removes. Um, shade Splitters aren't great. We're definitely pressed on space. And we still will be pretty stressed for space, even after an upgrade. Uh, we didn't get the dream of drawing, oh, what's it called? Prism Retrieval on turn one. That's okay. So, the sweep here is super valuable. We're gonna take this plus this as 4-1. Play Tethys to set up the final floor to make the stand. I'm gonna give Tethys a little smackerino. And then we need to figure out which statue is the most threatening. So these are about to die and give this more spell shields. So I think it's this one. Alright, so Cold Kylia gets to go on floor two, um, pretty much unquestionably. And now the question is, am I frozen lancing? I don't think I'm frozen lancing. I think this is a Prismal Dust on something turn. Uh, let's figure out what we're doing with these tools. Two tanks to draw, and they're going in. Or now I have one tank, one tank to draw. Uh, that's awkward. Yeah, that's my space problem. Okay. So, I guess that means I need to beef you up in case you actually take some hits. So you can have all three of these. Yeah, and... Does that mean you get the damage shield rather than on the bottom floor here? That probably is what that means. Because, like, eventually there are going to be some turns where I draw flights or something instead of things that hurt you. Alright. My... Why we draw these in the same turn? I don't even have the option of like trying to high roll and like play my card that lets me randomly discard to get this out of my hand to redraw it. Uh, but I like cannot afford not to play this card. Okay, it is just so central to my strategy that that has to happen. That means now this is a dead card, so I'll play it for X equals zero this turn. So the next question becomes, what am I doing with the rest of the turn? Things look good here. Things look good here. I can play a damage shield, or I can play a shade splitter as a damage shield. I can also just play Prismal Dust for X as a damage shield. I think this getting a damage shield is pretty valuable, even if it gives you an impact. On the top floor, we'll just play this as a thing. How are we looking? This is good. This is 
fine. Are we playing Gifts for Guard? So, like, Frostbite is going on the boss. Just, like, unquestionably starting to stack that up is great. good with trying to power up some spells. Alright, so just we're stacking that up on the boss. Alright, where is this most valuable? This is this is nine life in front. play this here. I should have played the other one first. Um, yeah, because I would probably have rather had the life than energy. But that's okay. I could have played it in front of that to do that. Eh. Alright. So, I don't know that I want to give you bonus armor. I guess it doesn't matter. Where am I doing this spell? Uh, here, because of spell weakness. So let's awkwardly throw this away. Get both of these cards in and get a kill on a creature. I have 50% chance for free Crypt Breaker. I may end up just casting a Crypt Breaker instead, though. So this is all fine, this is all fine. I can just send you to the back. Um. The awkward, that's not. Uh, no, it's not slightly awkward, is it? 90... Oh, no. Because then you're, the other people in front of you are going to take damage instead. Uh, but it's fine. This run has ended up in a slightly better position than I thought it was going to be, given some of the disastrous plays that I made. That's probably the best way to put that. Alright, uh, how many damage shields do you have? You have four damage shields. I think protecting those damage shields for later is valuable. Then we'll just uh, send some stuff here. another wave. Alright, gifts for a guard and exhaust a whole bunch of frozen lances. And or potentially some shades glitters. You don't really want it to hit the Titan's gratitude, that's the enabler for the crypt builder. For long term success in this fight. Um deck is getting a little small. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. So, if I do two of these here, that gets me a kill on you and it saves me a damage shield. If I do. Yeah. Uh, alternatively, I just put a morsel in front and save that. So, like, maybe we send those here. Yeah, so then one of those gets a kill. I guess I can do two of these. Ooh, spell weakness, spell weakness! Okay. Then that means this one can just hit the boss, leaving me with two energy to get two energy later. Alright, um, we're doing a whopping 42 to the boss. Uh, not where I would like to be for a four. But we weren't really planning on making the stand on this floor anyway. Got obliterated. 256 on this floor is considerably better. So these morsels get to serve as getting me one more attack. So 
you have no spell weakness currently. I think we're good. So, how do I play this turn? I think I just take the guaranteed crit breaker. Oh uh, man, you don't even have spell weakness after all that. Eh. Oh, you're already dead. You're already dead. No, no need to work. Alright. You told me two floors ago that I would still be alive. I would not have believed you. So these X boss spells are real good turn one. Real good turn one because of the seven additional energy that I get on turn one. However, on most other turns, these are going to be pretty bad. So Shroud Spike has some huge upside of going like, say, Tethys into like Act Morsels into cast this for something like X equals five after playing out another unit or something. I wonder if that's acceptable. I believe we're looking at space here, so that I have the option of like feeding Titan Sentry some morsels. Possible that I was supposed to take card draw there though. All right. I'm too poor to make take advantage of this, so I think I'm gonna go right. Uh, the pyre health is definitely relevant. All right, uh, chill wind three is a uh, huge yes from me. All right, Tethys hits like a truck in addition to everything else that's going on now. All right, let's see what we can do here. <laughs> you know, our spells aren't actually all that great. Yeah, if I'm being honest with you. Like, I don't know what I'm looking to do with these. Normally you have like Alright, let's let's look at the whole deck in its entirety. So like double stack on Crystal and Seeds is fine. Double stack on Prismal Dust is good. Magic power upgrades are okay. I don't know how much money I'm supposed to spend at this store. <laughs> Like, turning a Flash Freeze into something that's better at killing things is great, but we don't have anything that is, like, Titan's Bane levels worth of upgrades, and I don't know that I want to spend the money to reroll the store. So I think I'm going to go with Slight Upgrade on Flash Freeze, and we'll make something cheaper and just, like, call that good. Could be that, like, making gifts for a guard cheaper lets us exhaust spells earlier on in the fight. Let's us hone our deck closer down to like playing Crypt Builder or Flash Freeze every turn if we're lucky. I'm good with rolling with the let's get lucky strategy. It is working so far, because I'm sure not playing well. Alright, uh, what are we removing? Re removal gets weird now. Because I just took the Crowd Spike, which makes me want to have Shade Splitters in the deck to draw them on turn one and like, do the combo. I'm, like, so not on board with this unnamed tomb. It's, like, relatively harmless and, like, does have some utility, but I think this card is just trash. Like, so many times when you cast it, you're triggering their ability in the first place. Um, I think that's just gonna go. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and remove one Frozen Lance. All right. If we can get through another fight. Spikes 5, no. We we don't get to accept spikes. That that doesn't happen around here. Ember Drain is rough. Making me not want to play this out on one. Uh, we've also missed out on an X spell again. So I think this is going to look like Icy Silophyte on two. Epis on three. Uh, yeah, I'm... 
No. Hound Mouse Wheel. You've already made one error this time. You don't get another. No, it wasn't the Mouse Wheel. I, that's a lie. I just clicked on the end turn button. Alright, so... Titan Sentry gets to go up here. We get the Shades Splitter, and we can upgrade something's attack two times. That's okay. We didn't draw this card in our opening hand, so its utility is greatly decreased. I also could go with the damage shields, uh, which honestly might just be a better use of my time. This only has 10 health, so it will die next turn if I don't do something about it. Yeah, I think we just go that. I have to like target a morsel unit, I do. Kill it zero. I see. So I will kill this unit and then trigger its ability zero times in return for getting this out of my deck. Versus do I want to redraw this card later? Unclear. I think I'm okay with redrawing it later. Okay, so we have drawn a Titan Sentry. And Cold Kyla, which cannot go on the same floor. So I think you are getting the treatment of the protected via morsels. So that means that you are going to go here and you are going to go behind. You're gonna take a little bit of damage this way. Who is getting a frozen lance? Probably you. I want to make sure that you're dead next floor. You're taking 98, 110 ish. Alright, lifesteal 1 is pretty fantastic. That, uh, so is this though. Like, this is just increasing your life considerably. I have 2 damage shield, so these are protecting for 10 and 12. Um, let's eat this one. I'm not sure that that is just, like, clear-cut correct. Alright. How's this floor looking? Alright. Right dazed! Okay, that's very good. That probably means I played the previous turn incorrectly, though. I only have two energy. I must. One of my units must have gotten Ember Drain. Do you have Ember Drain? Do you have Ember Drain? You also have. Which means that playing morsels on this floor doesn't work. I need to play morsels on top and bottom floors. I think those are better than Frozen One. Um, Life Steel can go to you for when that becomes relevant. Energy. Zero units available. Built. Um, it, it, I really need to draft one more unit now. Like, the morsel defense thing is, like, okay and working, but, like, having one more unit for prism retrieval is pretty good. Am I good with playing this card this turn? I think so. Um, my hand right now is underwhelming. I did not want Crypt Builder to have consume. I also did not want both Titans Gratitude to have consume. Okay, but it's happened and we have to make the best of it. So, you are going to get Flash Freezed. You are going to jump in front and take this hit for 10. And then we're going to play this for x equals 1 just to consume it. It, it has no text currently. The highest percentage chance for me to play both of these Titans Gratitude is by playing this out before playing Crit Breaker because I could just play a Crit Breaker and hit it. Okay, turn.
that immune? Why did it say immune? Oh, it must have been immune to a status effect or something. I see. Alright, so this unit is dead. The unit is taking 39. Can't play food there. Um, deal 12 more. Um, not super relevant. The sweep sucks. Sweep super, super sucks. I would rather hit you a touch harder and then hopefully kill you next turn with a small spell, but Frostbite does some work in helping out with that. Uh, yeah, okay, you're dazed. Did not keep that in mind. Alright, so I can beat a Morsel for a lot. Next up, Frostbite. My spells are of medium quality. Gift for Guard is... Okay, so like, this is super valuable. Even if it eats up the spell weakness. So now, I think Prismal Dust for X equals 2 up on my top floor is going to be the most valuable thing. So this essentially adds two more turns. So this adds 6 Frostbite plus 28 times 2 damage. Yeah, I think it is more valuable up here by a very considerable amount. We don't care about score here, uh, so we're just looking to get this thing dead. Uh, and we can add some amount of spell weakness. Life skill one is great. Actually, it might not be great. But the thing is, I, like the first time this hits, it has damage shield, so I'm not actually going to gain anything back. So, I guess stacking up additional layers of spell here is good. That's, that's, oh no. Either if you trample. Uh, but you're dead. Good fight. Cross fight, okay. I'm still just flabbergasted that we have made it this far. Uh, okay. Frenzied Swarm is interesting, but we only have one offering card. Dazed is super valuable at protecting our units, though. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and take this. Gem Trove is good. How does that Prismal not, not Prismal Retrieval, the other one is like it. Two cost. No, I reduced it. Alright, gift for a guard. Enhance them with zero. So we can potentially get a free gem trove at some point in a run, and then otherwise pay for it. This is a good energy sink on a turn where we kind of whip on draws, but is like too expensive for the average turn. Not sure where that puts my evaluation of this overall. We're also hoping to draft a unit on the last or no, we'll hellvent and copy a unit. Okay. So we're gonna hellvent hell vent and copy our four plot, our four yep, whatever it is. And so, things that add morsels are actually not good, considering that. I can engine upgrade once I have a floor established. We don't have super energy problems come the late game, but it will be good with X cost spells. Uh, I think I'm just going to skip here. Alright. Things are going okay. So, like... We get a heal. We're gonna duplicate our tank. I'm gonna look at the other two shops though to make sure like something isn't gonna change my mind. Uh, yeah, nothing here is gonna change my mind. I don't think anything here is gonna change my mind. No. All right. Titan Sentry. I think the 25 health and 25 more attack is worth duplicating a new damage shield. Alright. 
but let's look at what I can remove from Steam <laughs> off of to make it insane. Nothing. Uh, Prismal Dust is interesting. So I can remove the consume off of it, and then reduce the cost on it. In my mind, that worked. And I don't see why it doesn't work. But that's okay. I would like my dazed spell to always be free. I would always like to cast that one. And 10 magic flower is not the most valuable thing in the world. I think I'm going to reroll. The reroll I have 80, and I can potentially get two upgrades. Holdover would have been great. Yes, for a guard being three is super interesting. Do that, and what do we want to have consume? Actually, no, we probably don't want anything to have consume because of yes, the guard. All right, uh, I I don't believe we've made it here, folks. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, I've I've made some egregious errors, some intentional, some unintentional. Um, but we have nevertheless made it to the final boss with 77 fire health. So basically, you're telling me there's a chance. Alright, so you are both the biggins. The one goes on this floor, one goes on this floor. We never got to live the dream of the turn one X spell for a billion D, um, which is unfortunate. So I guess there becomes a question of like, do I actually play Tethys out on one? But like, seeing as we're already taking 35 damage this turn, uh, I'm too afraid of losing this unit because it's so important against the boss. Alright, uh, Cold Kylia is going to go on one. That means, for the time being, you are going on two. And... Uh, no armor pit is a little rough. Do I care? You're taking 75 next floor and you're dazed. No, I don't care. It's just awkward. So this can be for one damage shield right now. That's not the amount that I want to be casting this for. Would be two if I didn't make... That. Actually, I guess this doesn't consume. So like, it is just correct to apply damage shields. Uh, we found the other Titan Sentry for this floor. It's fantastic. Things are good here. Things are okay here. Uh, things are not okay here. So, can I save this boss? Or, uh, this tank? So there's 12, 24, 48, 58, 59 coming in from the front four units. I can also just kill a one of these and save 24 damage on it, even though I would kill them anyway. You get a little bit more armor, but like, you live to fight another day. And what are we doing with morsels? I get to play all of them. Uh, the six damage isn't super relevant right now, whereas damage shield most certainly is. Who gets damage shield? Who gets life steal? You probably get. Uh, it doesn't seem to matter. But the better I make the final stand, um, the better. Shouldn't have used the word better twice, but you you catch my drift. At least I hope so. Prismal retrieval with zero available. Prismal retrieval as usual. You are coming in clutch. Uh, hand is pretty awkward this turn. I can just do. Four damage shields here. 
which essentially just saves me for this turn, but comes this. I think saving this unit for a little while longer is pretty good. Uh, the sap is doing serious work on both Kylia. Um, you know, we're negative eight power, which means we're not sweeping this with quick. Um, that's okay. I think I think I'm good with trying to save this this turn. Uh, give me some flavor text that I didn't have time to read. Alright. Crystal and seeds is okay. Uh, but again we're in no, we're not in the same situation. Okay, we get to daze this floor this turn. So what is happening on other floors? This is good, you're dazed. Jack strips doesn't quite kill you. I can crystal and seeds. That sticks that on the boss and makes you die. Okay, so that's a good start. Shade Splitter probably serves as a blocker on floor 2. Uh, or a damage shield later. So it saves 10 damage now, or would likely save 10 or 11 damage later. Uh, I guess specifically it is 11 damage later, because that thing is going to hit. Yeah, so this is actually better behind, although potentially even better on the floor above. Now, who gets hit with Frozen Lance? Probably you. And we just phase this floor. Uh, effects like Days and Stealth that essentially give you a time walk effect are extremely powerful. Alright. See what happens. Ah. That one spell that I didn't want to exhaust. Glad it's here. Alright. Uh, losing the Crypt Builder is slightly bad for me. So, this is going to deal 160 damage to you. That is a very convenient number. Oh, there, there must have been two of you in a row. I see. Okay. So, I guess we're playing everything else this turn. So, like, let's figure out what Shade Splitters I get and how to use them. Uh, damage Shield, I think, is going here. Energy can go here, and that means you're gonna take some damage, and then you're gonna take... Uh, I probably did it in the wrong order. I didn't look to see if you had Spell Weakness. Alright, um... Slightly nervous at this point. I didn't play this for X equals zero the last time I drew it, which means I had to redraw it. Alright, small error. Um, I also get some damage shields. Um, floor 1 being empty is very bad. Very, very bad. Um, we're also having some trouble setting up this morsel situation to be good. Like, I probably just need to Prismal Dust to try to hold this floor for longer versus the boss. It's okay. So, like, let's just consume this. And honestly, uh, I have to kill a morsel unit to do it. Any of the consumed cards you can just play out, and it's not that big of a deal. We're definitely better versus the boss than we are versus these generic units. Backing up Frostbite on you is super important, but this is going to represent multiple damage shields going, as is this. So which floor am I dazing? If I daze this floor, I get to save three damage shields for next floor. Uh, so I will be dazing this floor. That means I don't have to flash freeze you, and I can flash freeze one of you two instead. I'm going to take this out. Not having the ability to kill this this turn is pretty bad. I do not think I can afford to high roll and try to Titan's Gratitude you for slightly more damage. I, I don't think I get to play that line when it's like so important for me to play Frenzied Swarm on this floor. Well, we're gonna get to play that Morsel for X. You're only doing 82 damage to the boss, which is an embarrassment, and we're also not killing this unit. 
I fear for my life. I roll good morsel, please. Also, is this real bad? No, it triggers eaten and gorge abilities as I've triggered a billion times. One energy, I gain X energy. Well, it gets this out of my deck. Have some armor, friend. Means. Yes. Get more armor by playing a Shade Splitter out. I'm also gonna give you more armor. Uh, life Steal 1. Does that do things? Uh, how many damage shields do I have? I have 3 damage shields. It's gonna be take 10, and then I attack, and I heal 11 back. Did I just die to this unit ascending? Yeah, I just died to that unit ascending. Alright, uh, we made it way further than I expected to, given how I played. Um, some things went disastrously wrong in that run that cost me a considerable amount of higher health. Um, looking at our run summary, I think some things, some decisions didn't pan out for me. So we took Shroud Spike and Prism or Retrieval because they had such huge upside on turn one of a fight, and we never got that combination set up on turn one. So uh, I also believe that we never successfully cast a Prism Retrieval for a unit, and that was maybe a function of our deck size. Um, honestly, I'm not disappointed by this loss. Um, like, when you're recording, you very commonly make mistakes that you might not when you're otherwise playing. And I just like whoopsied and time walked myself and it was pretty bad. But like we survived for considerably longer than I expected to. And that just kind of shows you like if you make a mistake, don't beat yourself up about it. Just like make the best decisions that you can from there on out and try to survive. All right. Have a great rest of the day, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one. It ended up being a little longer than I expected because we really had to struggle there.